Hey guys, Ogi Saints here and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I want to talk to you guys about events in Wuthering Waves. That you should definitely not overlook these or miss these and you should be focusing on doing these every day. As I mean, once you get to a certain point, like your dailies and stuff, your daily login routine on Wuthering Waves is really not going to take you that long. Maybe 20-30 minutes to get everything done. And events should be a big priority on your list. As I don't really do a good job at reminding you or showing you, hey, these events are available come and check them out so i'm going to show you guys how to quickly get all the current events done what they give and all that stuff and then you can take this information and just use it for all the upcoming events as these do give quite a lot of asteroid and just a bunch of goodies overall so events it's in the top right over there you can see there's this little like um party blowing horn thingy whatever it is click on that and then a va you can see all the current events they all have like their dates and stuff this is the new one that we got recently and then this one over here as well, the second coming of Solaris. These both have eight days. But look at this, 400 asteroids over there, 200 over there, 200 over there. Come look at the second coming. If we go to the thing over there, 60, 60. So it's 120 over there, 240. Oh, that's like more than 300 something old asteroids. So like all in all, both of these events together is more than a thousand asteroids. So as a free-to-play player, even as a whale, three asteroids is asteroids. You know what I mean? So don't miss out on these and um they don't really tell you what to do yet it's like second coming of solaris uh current progress mithril um okay so what do we do so easiest thing to do is just check your quest log every day see there's side quest this is tied to that event so we go ahead and track that and we'll go over there and complete this quest real quick so you just run over to maki over here today's scenario every single day is like a different scenario we can just skip through this uh, basically most of the time you just have to turn in something you turn in and then it can be any of these you just need to give one of whatever this is so it's like one mithril so technically one type of ore doesn't matter whatever you can click there just click anything and there we go quest complete so then it jumps into the event screen and shows us that now we've got to wait for the next one available in 18 hours there'll be six out of seven so i guess tomorrow's one will be seven out of seven. Oh, yeah we're currently six out of seven so tomorrow we'll get the final reward Go ahead and claim that and there we go quick and easy that took us like not even a minute go ahead and do that and then the other current event right now is actually this one as well but at the same time while we are talking about events don't miss out on this the depths of the elusive realm i'm not sure if this is gonna reset or if it's gonna come back but this is actually pretty easy to do if you guys would like me to make a tutorial and a video on how to do this hit me know down below in the comments so i can go ahead and do that but these are very easy and there's a lot of different little objectives you can do within this event we can actually get more asteroids as you can see i haven't even done them all myself but maybe we should go through them maybe not i mean it's not that much asteroid i count this up it's like 160 something asteroid from all of these put together which is still basically one draw so you know free asteroids free asteroid but just go ahead and do this it's pretty easy overall especially once you level this up so you could just run the like lower levels if you go to challenge over here you can see the different levels and then when you click solo challenge i'll show you the characters so when on the level 71 you have to choose your own resonators and on all of the previous challenges they give you like two free resonators to try out if you don't have any like good ones all i can say is her in this mode extremely broken gian as well in this mode extremely broken because they like you get these little things that scale your your skills and your cooldowns and stuff and crazy 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 damage there but anyway let me know if you guys want a guide on how to do that i'm sure you guys have made it through most of that by yourselves and there's another event for the tower of adversity i believe this resets every week i'm not sure about the reward i haven't actually cleared out the last um, thing there to get seven out to get the eight out of that so we'll go ahead there and try that out and then obviously whenever there is a new character there will be a quest as well so like this gave actually 2000 unit 100 asteroids don't miss out on these as because when next patch comes we're going to get two new characters i i think it's back to back or at the same time but anyway just don't miss out on these events alloy smelt is another current event also up for the next eight days also has a lot of materials and rewards there. a lot of asteroids you can see that you can go and get and then i again haven't done the last two because i just haven't been back yet. i haven't really been playing that much recently i've just been doing my dailies and playing some other games but yeah don't miss out on all of these events there's so much free stuff and then this is just the like awakening at the union level 45 as well as this one they're both like uh, attached together so don't miss out on this withering exploration one currently and then the other one is the second coming the withering exploration one this one you just have to complete down below you get 20 tokens a day so for the first uh, three days you get these rewards then you got to do two days before you get the next reward and now two days again before we get the next reward as you can see there i'm at 100 points so I'll go ahead and complete this today. Then I'll get another 20 points for the daily. You just have to do these two things down below. 
And then tomorrow I can do another two more things down below and then I'll get this reward over here. And this is very easy stuff you see down below. Strengthen yourself battle, complete simulator challenges, one out of one. Okay, upgrade any weapon. So you can just click there and usually it'll just take you to the nearest one that there is. If there's multiples like a weapon forge or anything like that. So as you can see, very easy to do this and follow these. Just make sure you are checking these every day. Basically, that's all you do when you do login. I'm sure you guys are doing most of it anyway. Do your daily quest and then check your events. Don't miss out on events. Go through all and make sure you've done everything you can do. Get as far as you can in the alloy smelt as well as the tower adversity and just get in as deep as you can in the depths of Lucifer Elf as well. Free materials and this will be constant throughout the lifespan of Withering Waves. So this information will help you all the way whenever you decide to play. If you decide to take a long break and you come back in a couple of patches, I'm sure there'll be even juicier events over there. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please drop a like and a sub to the channel. It helps me out so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hoggy say now. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the